Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, or my video, if my channel is no longer here and I got this on some other platform. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about me. I'm an old guy. I accept that I'm an old guy. I'm over 60 years old. I'm a caregiver currently for my father, who's 91, and I do all the dirty jobs changing diapers, emptying catheters, cooking, cleaning, doing all that stuff, and then being too exhausted to do much else. If you ever wonder why, well, you should take care of yourself. You should go out to the gym. I don't have the energy to do that. After everything I do, I'm running a house. I'm running a kitchen, cleaning service. I gotta educate and entertain. I have to do all this, shopping, cooking, whatever, take people to medic. I'm a taxi driver. I pick up medication. I do all that work on top of being a caregiver, which is takes all the life out of you, all the energy out of you, and it really does. Think about it. When you were a kid, mom would get you up. It didn't take her 40 minutes to get you up, get you undressed, get you dressed, bathed, get you dressed, get you ready just to have breakfast. Didn't take her 40 minutes to do that. That's what it takes me each and every time. I need to change my father's under fan. I got to get him in the shower because I have to wash all that off. So I'm, it drains me. It really does. But this, this video is not about caregiving. It's about me. And I wanted to talk about people. There are some wonderful people out there of, of over 60 making videos. Rick Vito is one of them. He runs that wonderful um, uh, music-related channel where he interviews people, talks about music and all this. He's got millions of subscribers. And his videos are crisp and clear and sound great. They're wonderful. His backdrop is wonderful. I mean, it's where he's filming that is wonderful. He's got all the clarity is wonderful. But he's an old guy, too. But he's better shaped than me. I'm um, being real in my, in my videos. I'm not pretending to be what I'm not. My backdrop is my bedroom. My bed's against that wall so I can have more space here. And I need to have a clear path from the door to my bed in case EMS has to come. You have to leave space for EMS to come if there's an emergency. Same in my dad's room and everything else. So I drink a lot of coffee, too, because I don't think it keeps me awake some days. I say that, but what I mean is not awake, but alert. Because I'm an insomniac, and I've been an insomniac since I was a kid. Lifelong insomniac. And so when I go to sleep, if I finally get to sleep, if I get shocked awake or woken up, there's no going back to sleep for me. So I usually run out about th two or three hours of sleep every 24 hours. But I need something in my pocket. I got to have my phone here until I bend over and falls into the toilet. But I need it here because my lenses are that way and I need to tell Hey, Siri, record if something's going on. Never mind, Siri. Sorry, dear. Thank you anyway, Siri. Sure thing. Sure thing. Sorry, I actually said it. And she actually responded. But I can also, um, I can't take statins for high cholesterol. And I would never take a statin. Bad thing. 
So they're always trying to push statin medicine on me or, or cholesterol medicine on me or try to figure out a way. So now they got me on this thing. I'm sorry, this glass yellow is getting eaten alive. But it's a uh, uh, prevalent arrow kumbaya. It's an injection. And every two weeks, I inject it into one leg or the other, depending on which one I did the last time. And tonight, I have to do it again. And I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to show you me doing it. Then I got to get the alcohol pads out. I got to get the uh, bandages. Because it will bleed usually. So let me go ahead. Get this ready. And uh, I'll be right back. Now. I didn't need the bandage this time, and it's on my right leg I have to do this. I did use it. All was gone. Gotta press it down and press the button. Wait till it clicks. But when it clicks, it's not done yet. You gotta wait. Till it empties. And then there you go. Fun thing. So. Like I said, this is real life, and that's what I do in my videos. I do my real life, talk about my real life, what's going on in our lives and my life. It's not a very interesting life right now, because my focus has to be on my father. Um, but and he, he, he's keeping him going and alive sucks every bit of energy out of me. me I'm being real. And I gotta be real. I don't have the energy or time to lie to you. And that's really about what it is. I can't stage my life. Even though I'm trying to put my life on a stage. People, I used to write blogs. I used to write journals. I used to publish those. But the world has changed. People don't read like they used to, and they're not going to read what I write, which are about 10 pages long. People need images. They need pictures. They're worn out, too, from the wages of life. Because we pay so much just to be alive. And our time, our effort, our money. We have to do so much just to keep alive, and we never even step out of our own houses anymore. Anyway, so that's the reality of the situation for me, and so I'm always going to promise you're going to get the reality from me. If you start seeing perfectly manicured, painted walls, and my bed sheets have been ironed. You'll know I'm lying to you, and I'll know I'm lying to you, and I'm not a good liar. I really, really am not. Take care. See you again soon.